Hello beautiful people, this is Jeannie and it's Jeannie Signature. So I'm going to be making this beautiful snatched waist cool off shoulder caftan. This is beautiful, you can rock it anywhere. The only difference is that the length of mine was not that long, but it's okay. I can manage it like that and it's beautiful. So if you want this rich anti kind of vibes feeling, please go for this style. So now let's head over to the cotton table. Yeah. So I have my fabric here. You can use a crepe, a silk, or whatever material you have. A length by 60 and um, a silky material, preferably, yeah? So let's get right... Three yards, yeah. I used three yards of fabrics. So yeah, let's get right into it. I'm going to be folding my fabric. Okay, I have my fabric folded on the table. This fabric is very, very... <laughs> Dicey, please if you want to buy your material kindly make sure that it's a material you can work with Because this material needed a lot of patience You just have to be patient with it. That's just the truth because anywhere you fold it. It keeps Moving and all yeah, but it's okay. It came out beautiful. That's the most important thing So I'm still trying to arrange them very well so that everything will lay flat and all yeah So now I'm going to be getting some measurements that we need. We really don't really need much for this tutorial. Yeah. So I'm trying to arrange it again. You see, at every point I keep arranging here. Yeah. Because you don't want anything to happen and you regret whatever. So now, yeah, I'm going to be taking my shoulder to my hip and my shoulder to my knee and then the full length i'm going to be using the whole length of this material so that's why i didn't really mark out my full length so what i'm marking right about now is my shoulder to knee and then i'll go right ahead to measure my shoulder to hip even though we may we are not really using that shoulder to hip i just want to use it as uh, for illustration purposes for any other person that would want their coal to stand from the hip side because mine started from the knee but you may want yours to start from the hip so that is why i'm going to be marking my shoulder to hip i can't make use of my ruler pattern master because of the nature of the fabric so that is why i'm using my hand And so right about now, I'm getting my shoulder to my hip measurements. That is what I'm trying to measure out. So that shoulder to hip is optional. If you wish, you can just mark it like so. If you wish, you can ignore it. Yeah. Just trying to arrange it very well. So now I'm going to be dividing my hip measurement by 4. My hip measurement is 44. 44 divided by 4 gave me 11. And then I added 4 inches extra. So in allowance inclusive. So I added 4 inches extra to my hip measurement divided by 4. That is what I marked there. And I'm going to be marking the same thing on the total of what I have there. I'm going to be marking it on my E knee line and then the full length of the clothes so i'm going to be shifting this a little bit i'm going to be shifting it a little bit so that i can mark the same thing on the length of the fabric
So now on my knee, I'm going to be going up by 3 inches. It's optional, but that is what I like to give that. I don't want it to sit directly on my knee. So I'm going to be going up 3 inches above my knee. You can go up 4, you can go up anyhow you want it, but 3 inches is okay for me. So I'm going to be bringing it down again so that I can Okay, because you just need to be careful. If not, you'll scatter the whole thing. I had to use paint to hold down the shoulder sides. You see it? You just have to be careful with it. So I'm going to be coming down for my round sleeve arm hole. Though this is going to be an off shoulder, so you don't really need your um, arm hole. This should be your round sleeve where your hand will come out. So I'm coming down by 14 inches. So I came down by 14 inches. So from there, I'm going to be drawing kind of a circle to meet that line that I came up with by 3 inches on my knee. It's not going to be a straight line. I'm going to be bending it. You see the way I'm curving it. Just curve it to meet that 3 inches. I'm going to be doing it very well so that you see it. So this is how it's going to be. up to that 14 inches and that is it for now if you wish you can just curve it to your hip measurements because but for mine I want it to get to the knee that is why I can't it up to that but if it's your hip you want the coal to start from you can equally um, make it up to your hip line but i want to use my knee line that is why i went all the way to my knee line that is three inches above my knee line so right about now i'm going to be cutting it out so that i'll have enough space to do any other alterations i need to do at the upper side so you just cut it out the same way it is like that to shift it a little bit in fact this is the real handle with care <laughs> you just have to handle it with care because if not everything you've done will just be nothing so I'm cutting it and uh, Please ignore the background noise. It's caused by my daughter as usual. <laughs> so now I had to flip it over so that you see what I want to do right about now. 
because I noticed that the camera was not capturing that side very well. So I'm cutting off the excess at that uh, round slip area so that everything will sit perfect and even. So and I'm going to be notching that 14 inches I came down with. I noticed that the notching did not show so I'm just going to like cut it so that I'll take that into consideration when sewing. So now we'll be moving over to the upper part of the uh, fabric. There's not going to be any shoulder slope or whatever here because it's basically an off shoulder cotton. So you can see the way it looks, it's looking all beautiful. So let me go back to the upper part. So I'm going to be opening that upper part because I have to have uh, the front and the back bodies. So I want to be opening it now. distracted by my daughter so I had to just go pick her up from there sorry about that so now I'm cutting it out like separating the pieces This cloth is very very difficult so now yeah I had to do that off camera and come back quickly because I discovered that it was wasting too much time so now I have my front piece and I have my back piece everything is the same so this is going to be having a belt inside of it so that it will make the waist snatched so what I'm going to be doing is the first thing is that I'm going to be going to sew the upper part I'm going to put a quarter and a quarter in and then sew it all the way down then go to the um, round sleeve area where I marked up to 14 inches fold a quarter and a quarter I'm going to be doing that for the two uh, pieces so for both, for both the front and the back and I'll be back to show you the next thing to do So yeah, I've done that. I've gone to my machine and I've sewn it. I've done everything. So everything is sitting perfectly and all now. The only thing is I've not given it a good press. Fortunately, they took the light before I could finish. But I'm going to be giving that press later on. I need to rush this because it's getting late and it's getting dark. So I'm going to be um, showing us how to place the belt. In order to get that snatched uh, waist kind of thing so 
I'm going to be keeping one aside and then work on one part. So I went ahead to cut out the belt that I'll be using for this. Cut it off camera, but what I have on fold, I have three and a half on fold, three and a half inches, and I have 25 inches length. It's going to be two belts, one for each side. So I'm going to be sewing one side and then the lower side and leave one side open so that I can turn it. So I'll be back to show you how to go about it in the next step here. Yeah. So yeah, I've gone ahead to do all that and I'm back with it. These are the belts I've sewn and I've turned them all over. So this belt is going to be sitting inside the clothes. So it has to be hidden. It's not supposed to be a visible thing. So, so based on the fact that this cloth is going to be an off shoulder, you're just going to be placing whatever you want to minus your off shoulder width. It may be four, it may be five, it may be six, it may be seven depending on how off you want it to be like those on the thumbnail they came they, they really went down probably by five or six inches but i did mine four i didn't want it to be too off so the first thing i'm going to be doing now is to be getting the middle point i told you i couldn't iron earlier because of light so i'm just trying to improvise like now so i i, I folded it into two and i used mark chalk to mark the line down the middle so to indicate the mid points of the cloth because that is very very important here as you can see it's visible i have my midpoint so you know we just need to improvise in many things so i have my midpoint and the next thing i'm going to be doing is to be getting my uh, waist my half length or my half cut so I'm going to be placing the tape four inches because I'm going to be um, minusing four inches because it's an off shoulder and I'm getting my waist which is 17 inches. Actually my waist is 18 inches but I'm making it 17 inches. I'm going up uh, one inch above the normal waist length because I want it to be snatched at that point here. So I marked my half length. And now I'm going to be dividing my waist measurement by 4. So my waist measurement is 40 divided by 4. That will be 10. So I'm going to be marking 10 on that side and 10 on this side. So for this front piece, automatically my waist is going to be 20 inches. Then for the back, I'm not using anything for it. Automatically becomes 20. So that gave us the 40 inches. So basically, that is what I'm marking right there. I marked 10, 10 inches. Putting into consideration the middle line that I drew down. So that is where you're going to be placing the tape to mark the 10 inches on each side. So that is where I will be attaching my belt. And this is where I will be attaching the other one. On that 10 inch mark. Inches that I marked. So I'm going to be doing that and I'll be back to show you. So yeah, I've gone ahead to do that and this is how it looks. I've attached the belt. This is how it came out. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now is to head over to the sewing machine now and join the two pieces together at the sides. So I'm going to be running it from where that 14 inches that I marked for the sleeve opening, I'm going to be sewing it right from there. I'm going to be using one inch to sew it all the way to the length of the clothes. I'm going to do that on both sides and I'll be back to show you how it looks. This is the other side, you do the same thing. So I've done that 
and this is how everything came out i was rushing right here because it was damn late so yeah i already marked my middle point so that i'll be able to do the where the thing will sit on my shoulder you need to get your midpoint again so if you want to improvise just fold your fabric into two i use a chalk to mark the midpoint but if you can iron the clothes, then you have a perfect uh, a seam, uh, okay, line in the middle. So right about now, I'm going to be using my shoulder measurement. But if you want it to be very off again, you can use your round shoulder measurement. But what I'm doing basically now is dividing my shoulder into two. My shoulder is 17 divided into two. That will give me eight and a half. But I didn't mark eight and a half. I went ahead to mark nine inches on both sides because I wanted it to be a little bit off my normal shoulder so that means i added extra one inch so anyhow you want it to be you can go right ahead and do that so i'm going to take it over to, i'm marking it on the other side of the clothes so i'll take it over to the sewing machine and then stitch those parts down and voila we have our clothes ready stitch it down like so So I'll be back to show you. So after sewing all the sides and doing the shoulders, this is how it came out to be. So I'm going to be wearing it now. Though I've worn it to show you in the thumbnail and the beginning of this tutorial, but I just want to show you the picture of how it looks again. It's so beautiful. It gave me that rich anti vibes of a thing. Please, if you have not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe, like share and please give this a huge not even a big a huge thumbs up thank you god bless you love you all thank you